Hey guys, I'm Scott Miller, CEO of Dragon Innovation. And a little while ago, we torn apart one of these battery powered Nerf guns and learned a lot about design for manufacture and assembly and, and saw how they were built. After we were done, I wanted to put it together again just so my kids could go and, and use it. The problem is I ended up dropping one of the uh, most important parts, which was a gear that feeds the Nerf rounds um, into the accelerator. And generally the way consumer electronics are made is every part is custom. So I wasn't going to be able to go and buy a replacement part. If I wanted to fix the product, I had to go and, and make my own. Luckily for us, though, we've got the tools to do it. So I just wanted to walk you through how we solve the problem. Uh, so let's jump over to Onshape and we can design the cat. So I took the remaining parts of the gear uh, after I swept them up off the floor and then created this uh, you know, simple model in Onshape, which is one of our favorite CAD programs. They've got some really cool feature script stuff so that it makes it incredibly easy to design spur gears. You just enter in the main parameters and then Onshape will generate the envelope profile for you. My challenge was though, I didn't know how many teeth the original gear had because it was broken in so many pieces. And I knew that was uh, an important parameter to get right. So to solve that, I generated gears with a couple of different number of teeth and then uh, basically exported that into Illustrator. I brought the DXF in so I could visualize it and print it out. And here I've got 29 teeth, 30 and 31 teeth. And by laying the remaining parts of the gear over these profiles, I was able to really quickly tell that it was a 29 tooth that I needed. So with that information, I jumped back into Onshape, uh, generated my 29 tooth gear, exported the STL to our Mark Forged, and let's pull that up here, which is a carbon fiber 3D printer. Um, so here you can see the Onshape part came in nicely, positioned it, uh, to have a good um, print in terms of orientation of the layers. Uh, let's take a look at the internal view and we can see uh, layer by layer what it looks like. So as we jump in here, we see the envelope profile and there's a double wall thickness, which is probably enough to carry the, uh, the stress that the gear is going to undergo. If not, we can adjust that and pretty straightforward so it looks good so i'll go and hit the print button and let's see what we got we'll print now it looks like it's going to cost us about 60 cents so pretty pretty good deal there and it will take uh, roughly an hour to print out so let's let this do its thing and we'll then pick it up from the printer and, and see if it fits